this weather forecast. All right, remember when I was on the roof just a few minutes ago, I was telling you that I had like a little friend. Well, there he is. You can see him right here in action as he's getting rid of our fall decorations. It looks like he wants to put up maybe some Halloween one or um, not Halloween, uh, some holiday decorations. Maybe he's kind of helping us out there. It looks like. But anyway, beautiful day that we had across northeastern and central Pennsylvania. You can see here in Williamsport this evening, just a few high layered clouds, but that's basically about it. A nice, beautiful sky as we end our work week. Here's a look at satellite and radar from the past six hours. We are staying rain free, really cloud free across northeastern and central Pennsylvania. We'll zoom out for a wider picture. You can see we have that area of high pressure remaining in control across most of the northeast and really across the mid Atlantic. And this is going to stay with us as we head throughout the next several days as we are going to continue this unseasonably warm stretch of weather as we head throughout the next few days. But you can see temperatures still pretty warm for this time of year, at least around this time of day. Right now into the 60, 66 Wilkesbury Scranton, right at 61 in Hazleton, currently 59 in Malpocono, 62 for us in Sealands Grove. We usually don't use this graphic too much, especially this time of year, November, but we're bringing it back out for tonight. We're giving it a 10 out of 10. If you're eating outside for tonight, pretty comfortable. Just maybe bring that light jacket as those temperatures, especially if you're heading out for any football games, we'll see those back into the mid 50s around kickoff. By the time we hit the final whistle, we're back into the lower 50s, but we stay dry with a mostly clear sky and we've been staying Staying dry, you can see here with our latest drought monitor across northeastern Pennsylvania. We still are above nor or ab normally dry, but out towards central Pennsylvania. That's where we still have that drought. Not really going to see any uh, substantial rainfall, especially as we head throughout the next several days as we are continuing with that weather pattern. But we are going to see some rain chances moving back in by the middle of next week. Tonight with your eyewitness weather forecast, mostly clear, staying dry on the chilly side. Lows drop back into the mid 40s with some patchy fog developing late. And for the day tomorrow, we stay pretty warm once again with our highs reaching into the lower 70s with a mostly sunny sky. So a great day to get outdoors and maybe do some yard work as well. Here's your seven day forecast. You can see lots of sunshine for Sunday temperatures into the lower to mid 70s from Monday, mostly sunny into the lower 70s, partly partly sunny for the day on Tuesday. And then Wednesday is our next chance where we have that cold front moving back in. We'll bring some increase in cloud cover along with some scattered showers for Veterans Day. Highs are still into the lower 70s, a little bit cooler by Thursday. Thursday into the mid 60s. We have a mostly cloudy sky for Thursday into Friday and by Friday we're back into the lower 60s. You can download the eyewitness weather app. Great to have, especially for those plans to be outdoors this weekend and for next week. You can always find more by visiting our website at pahomepage.com. So yeah, we got to see our little friend up on the rooftop there, Mark. Those pumpkin seeds must be really good. Yeah, I actually sometimes I remember growing up. I used to like put them in the oven and put mm -hmm. a little salt on them. They weren't salt too bad. Them up, yeah. So, yeah, no, he likes them on. Natural. <laughs> That's true. All right, Logan. <laughs>